in this connection we see the full meaning of the word used of creation in Hebrews 11.3 by faith we understand that the words the worlds and that means for him uh, in brackets the ages for example the universe under the aspect of time have been formed by the word of God and so on the whole sequence of life and time which we call the world had been fitted together by God his one creative word included the harmonious unfolding on one plan of the last issues of all that was made that which in relation to him one act at once is in relation to us an evolution apprehended in orderly succession and there we've got him nailed because there he really says that he believes in evolution and therefore he put it in the text he put it in the text not because it is in the text not because there is something indicating in any of the Greek texts or whatsoever saying something about this no he believed in it and therefore he put it in that is dishonesty that is made uh, this is written from Westcott himself in the book some Lef lessons page 187 so these people believe actually in evolution and try to bring it in the Bible because they do not believe in the inspiration of the Bible by the Holy Spirit so do they believe in God at all or do they think they know it better well think about this make up your mind and there I have some texts which you might look up and see the differences between that what you already know in your heart if you believe in Jesus if you believe in Yeshua the Messiah and compare it with 1st Timothy 3.16 and then you have some very interesting result and you know the Holy Spirit tells you the truth so don't go away from the truth keep it in your heart that Jesus is God 1st Timothy 3 16 and another thing by adding the first John 6 verse 4 that never ever was in the Bible only late a three years ministry of Jesus was willingly created and the 70 weeks ministry of Yeshua was denied done very early by apostolic fathers ruled by the Romans now this is really heavy stuff and you have to think about this and this is already in our Bibles because it has been done so early also this will one day receive its punishment and I say to you, like in 1 Kings 18, verse 21, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long hold ye between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. You should answer Yeshua a word. And you should say, I love you, my God and King and I will follow you until the end and it doesn't matter what it costs I will be with you in love O oh Lord my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say surely our fathers have inherited lies vanity and wherein no profit exactly that is what we are saying in our days when we discover that we have been robbed of those verses of the scripture which give us dedication to Yeshua and which give us back the connection to him in his blood and that is very special also I would like you to check out the Davar computer study Bible 
this gives you a possibility of diving into your Bible with something that you haven't seen before.